An international network of radio telescopes has produced the first ever close-up image of a black hole's shadow, which scientists revealed on April the 10th. Now, the collaboration called the Event Horizon Telescope confirmed decades of predictions of how light would behave around the edges of these dark, mysterious objects. So what does this mean for the electric universe? Well, let's find out. The image is taken of the active galactic nuclei in the M87 galaxy, and this galaxy's centre of rotation faces us almost exactly, and it is known that the object at the centre of this galaxy has a very large twisting jet. In the standard model, this object is thought to be a supermassive black hole. In the electric universe model, stars are not fueled by gravity but by electrical forces, and stars don't simply die, they have their current removed. Now on the other hand, black holes in the standard model are formed through gravitational collapse when the fusion stops and there is no counterforce to stop gravity. The matter collapses until the matter is so tightly packed that the gravitational strength is so great even light cannot escape. And they still spin, and it's this spin that creates the matter accretion disk around it in the shape of a torus. And this is exactly what the image shows. Interestingly, the torus is mainly composed of hot plasma. So why is this a problem for the electric universe model? The standard model of stellar evolution predicts the existence of black holes. And they predict that supermassive black holes would be found at the centre of galaxies. So here we have an image of what appears to be a very large black hole at the center of M87. And in the electric universe model, this simply should not exist. So is this the end of the electric universe then? Well, I don't believe so. In the electric universe model, we would expect to find an active Z pinch at the center of an active galactic nuclei. ARP certainly believed that these structures were capable of producing new matter and ejecting it out and thereby creating new uh, quasars which would eventually form into dwarf galaxies. But we would expect these Z pinches to be highly energetic and bright and this is not what we see in this image. Plasma we know behaves in very strange ways so could the brightness that we see in this image be the plasma following the inner layer of a Marklin convection? Now we've already discussed that, the, that they already know that this object at the centre of M87 has vast jets uh, coming out of it on both sides. And to me that sounds a little bit like potentially a Birkeland current. So are we seeing here a cross-section through a galactic Birkeland current and therefore the Markland convection at the center. So the reason that we would see it black would be because there is simply no matter there. The matter gets uh, essentially pushed outward to the first outer ring. The, the question would be is why is the plasma being excited only around that section? Why do we not see it lighting up across the whole of that sheath that comes out of the uh, center of the active galactic nuclei. Is there something else going on in the plane that is causing that uh, plasma to become excited, to go from dark mode into glow mode? For now it's fair to say that it is not an easy thing for the electric universe to explain. In the past it's been easy to disregard black holes because no one has ever photographed one, but here we have the first ever photograph of what is assumed to be a black hole. Now, it could easily be argued that it is something else, but again, they would have to produce all of the data to explain everything, because don't forget, the standard model predicted this, and exactly as they saw it, both the torus, the shape, the movement of the stars around it, would argue that this is some supermassive object causing the objects to rotate faster. That's not to say that you can't explain it in terms of an electrical model, because indeed if there are vast electrical currents, we would expect things to behave differently around those electrical currents. Thing is that someone needs to start pulling all those together into some sort of theory that makes sense. So I eagerly await what the Thunderbolts and other electric universe scientists will make of this image. As always, be brave, be curious. The truth is waiting for us. Until next time.